do you believe in hell, paradise, and reincarnation? And when the people die, do you know where their souls go and what happened to them? Hello everybody, my name is Sun Peng. Uh, right now I am on the second level of Angkor Wat Temple. And behind me is the South Gallery. And today I will bring you to see the carving that depicts about human soul after death. And do you believe in hell, paradise and reincarnation? And when the people die, do you know where their souls go and what happened to them? And this video, could be the answer to this question. Okay, don't wait too long. Let's follow me and uh, take a look at the carving life together. Okay, off we go. Look at the carving story here. When the humankind about to die, the soldiers of Lord Jama, called Yungatud, will come up to bring the souls, go to hell for a trial. The picture here, there are three panels. The panel on the top is Brahmins and royalties. They believed that they were God incarnations and they had committed lots of good deeds to release their sins from their previous lives. And now they are going back up to paradise. The panel in the middle, they are getting hosted and carried with a sedum chair by the servants, sending them to see the God. But the panel at the bottom here is depicted about the sinners who had violated the supreme disciplines. The soldiers' humanitud put handcuffs, pierced cheeks, chin, and wrists to tie the wire to them in case they try to escape and drag them to hell. Along the path to the Lord Jama's palace, is guided by big soldiers called Jumabal and fearsome creatures to keep everything under control like birds, dogs, serpents, elephants, rhinoceros and other animals. Lord Jama pet six dogs. They all have four eyes that look so scared and horror. Agni, the god of fire. He is in charge of the work in leading the deaths to the capital, Yamapura. When the souls arrive at the gateway, they will be met by the gatekeeper named Vechata and then two attendants. When they have gotten inside, named Kalapurasa and Mohachanda, both attendants will use them to earn audience and teach them how to pay respect. After that, they will be given the holy water called Soma to drink to erase all their memories from the earthly life before meeting the great God. Noticeably, in hell, no light. Everywhere is dark. The light of the sun and the moon cannot reach this world. Only the capital city, Yamapura, is brightened. The light is sparkled from the palace, Sama Yamuni, which is constructed out of gold and gemstones. And this palace has been considered as the most beautiful palace in the universe, even more beautiful than the palace of God Indra and Vishnu. In the Supreme Court, Lord Jama got 18 arms, each one holding a holy club, sitting in his grand throne of judgment majestically. 
and listening to his two secretaries carefully. One named Chetrakupta controls the soul going down to get punished in the 32 levels of hell. Another one named Kales controls the souls going up to heaven to consume happiness and enjoyment. They are consulting a massive register, reading the worldly deeds as well as what the deaths have done when they have life on earth, one after another, based on the evidences. Then Lord Jama will make consideration to the three options. One, the first and best is to be given immortality by drinking holy nectar Amrat and sent to live forevermore with the wise and silly men to whom Lord Yama is king. Here the good will enjoy eternal happiness and shine as a star in the celestial heaven. 2. The second option is to be sent back into the world and be rebound in order to as it were have another go at leading a good life, although not necessarily as a human. 3. The third option and the worst option is to be sent down into 32nd level of hell for the patricides. The lower level is the worst punishment accordingly. How bad or what kind of sin acts they had committed on earth? In his action, Lord Yama has two powerful bodyguards that always stand by on each side of the throne. Mariti on the right and Samatita on the left. And they both are red. Obviously, they can see two women fanning for him in the throne, one on each side too. The one on the right named Dama, she is blue and one on the left named Ahama, she is red. All the soldiers of Lord Jama are so powerful and they have sanctified body. They carry out a particular task to control the hell and guard the south quarter of the universe. Lord Jama has three consorts. The first one named Hemamala, the second one named Vijaya, and the third one named Susila. Here is the picture of the punishment for the people who had committed sin acts like slander, falsify, steal, gossip, Gameball cock fight. Commit adultery. Treachery. Premature. Consume trucks. Kill. And so on. Life in here is full of pains and suffering. Just only horror screaming roar.
on the top here is paradise based on lotus petals and supported by garudas life in here is full of happiness and enjoyment and they can live forevermore at the end here is the picture of the lowest level of hell 30 second called Nuru Avijay. The petricides will die by quicksand and plunge into this place and get this torture for a long time until the next god get enlightenment. In the daytime they crucify them and tie weight to the feet to stretch the body and they kneeling in the body and at night time they lay them down in the fire. This picture looks so brutal and frightened. Having all this picture, most Cambodian people, about 90%, strongly believe in hell, paradise, and reincarnation. And you? I hope everybody, especially all my subscribers, behave good acts, gaining the good deeds, prepare for the next life and our ending day. We will go up to heaven together. At the end of the video, I never forget to send my million thanks to all my supporters for always watching my video and especially thanks indeed to Uncle Sinlin Tour for sponsoring our activities in making this footage. Thank you so much.